This curious illustration of both of these forms of trouble in sunstroke and in heat stroke. Though supposedly understood by physicians, they are nevertheless altogether etheric disorders. When the nature of the etheric body is better understood, and its wise care followed both these types of disease will be prevented. They are due to solar pranic emanation. In one case the effect of the emanation is to bring about death or serious illness through the congestion of an etheric channel, while in the other the same result is brought about by destruction of etheric matter. The above illustration has been used with definite in the etheric body in Prana 109. 10. But it should be pointed out that etheric congestion may lead to many forms of disease and of mental incompetence. Etheric congestion leads to the thickening of the web to an abnormal extent, and this thickening may prevent, for instance, contact with the higher self or principles and its resultants, idiocy and mental unbalance. It may lead to abnormal fleshy development, to the thickening of some internal organ, and consequent undue pressure. One portion of the etheric body being congested may lead to the entire physical condition being upset, resulting in diverse complaints. Destruction of tissue may lead to insanity of many kinds, especially those kinds deemed incurable. The burning of the web may let in extraneous astral currents against which man is helpless. The brain tissue may be literally destroyed by this pressure, and serious trouble be caused through the etheric ring cast not having been destroyed in some one place. In connection with the planet a similar state of affairs may be found. Later information may be forthcoming, which is at present withheld. This will show that whole races have been influenced, and certain kingdoms of nature troubled by planetary etheric congestion, or the destruction of planetary etheric tissue. We have dealt with the functional and organic ills of the etheric, giving certain indications for the extension of the concept to other realms than the purely human. In the human kingdom lies the key, but the turning of that key opens up a door to a wider interpretation as it admits one into the mysteries of nature. So, that key has to be turned seven times, yet even one turn reveals untold avenues of eventual comprehension point 4748. 47 The Keys to the Secret Doctrine by H. T. Blazatsky, C.S. V. I. 343, 2. No. V. 551. 1. Every symbol and allegory has seven keys. S. D. 2. 567. 3. 3. 2. Only three keys available in the 19th century. S. D. 2. 543. Compare to 617. 842. 110. A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E -E on Cosmic Fire. We have considered the reception and distribution of pranic emanations from man, the planet, and the system, and have seen what produces temporary disorders, and the devitalization or the over-vitalization of the organic form. Now we can look at the subject from a third angle and therefore study. C. Microcosmic static disorders, or a consideration of the etheric body in connection with its work of providing a ring pass not from the purely physical to the astral. As has been said, both here and in the books of H. P. B. The ring pass not 48A is that confining barrier which acts as a separator or a division between a system and that which is external to that system. This, 
as may well be seen, has its interesting correlations when the subject is viewed, as we must consistently endeavor to view it from the point of view of a human being, a planet and a system, remembering always that in viewing with the tree, there are seven keys to the entrance door to the mystery. The keys, as hinted by H, P, B, R, A, psychological, S, V, 2, 25, note, I, 389, B, astronomical, S, V, 2, 25, note, I, 389, 3, 198, circa, Physical or physiological. S. V. 2. 25. No. 3. 198. V. Metaphysical. S. V. 2. 25. No. 2. 394. E. Anthropological. S. V. I. 389. 3. 198 F Astrological S V 2 343 G Geometrical S V 2 494 3 176 H Mystical S V I 401 I Symbolical J. Numerical. S. V. 2. 198. 5. Each key must be turned 7 times. S. V. I. 22. 6. The views avail themselves of 2 keys out of the 7. 7. The metaphysical key is available. S. V. I. 338. Compare 3. 198. 48 inches the 7 keys open the mystery, past and future, of the 7 great root races and of the 7 calcus. Every occult book, symbol and allegory can be subjected to 7 interpretations. There are 3 locks to be open. 7 keys. Every book can be read exoterically, subjectively and spiritually. All the keys are not yet available. Chief Secret Doctrine, I, 330, 343. There is the physiological key, the psychological, the astrological and the metaphysical. The fifth key is the geometrical. 48. They ring pass not. The circumference of the sphere of influence of any center of positive life. This includes the fire sphere of magnetic work of the solar orb, viewing it as the body of manifestation of a solar logos and inclusive of an entire solar system. This term is also applied to the sphere of activity of a planetary logos or to a planetary scheme and could equally well be applied to the sphere of activity of the human ego. S. V. I. 346. T H E T H E R I C V O V Y A N T R A N A 111. Etheric body we are dealing with physical matter. This must ever be borne carefully in mind. Therefore, one paramount factor will be found in all groups and formations, and this is the fact that the ring pass not acts only as a hindrance to that which is of small attainment in evolution, but forms no barrier to the more progressed. The 
question depends upon two things, which are the karma of the man, the planetary logos, and the solar logos, and the dominance of the spiritual indwelling entity over its vehicle. IV, M-A-C-R-O-C-O-S-M-I-C-A-N-D-M-I-C-R-O-C-O-S-M-I-C-E-T-H-E-R-S. One, the planetary logos and the ethers. Man, influence danger, passes at night from out of the there and bring back not and functions elsewhere. Therefore, under the law, the planetary logos likewise can pass the green path not at stated seasons which correspond in the planet to the hour. Likewise, is the same during stated cycles, which are not the cycles succeeding those which we term solar galaya, but lesser cycles succeeding the days of Brahma, or periods of lesser activity, periodically viewed. All these are governed by karma, and just as the true man himself applies the law of karma to his vehicles, and in his tiny system is the correspondence to that fourth group of karmic entities whom we call the look of the lords, he applies the law to his threefold lower nature. The fourth group of extra cosmic entities hold their place subsidiary to the three cosmic logoi who are the threefold sum total of the logo of nature, can pass the bounds of the solar ring pass not in their stated cycles. This is a profound mystery and its complexity is increased by the recollection that the fourth created hierarchy of human monads and the mythical lords in their three groups the first. 112 ATREATISEOF Cosmic Fire Group, the second, and the four Maharajas, making the totality of the threefold karmic rulers who stand between the solar logos and the seven planetary logoi, are more closely allied than the other hierarchies, and their destinies are intimately interwoven. For the link in this chain which is offered for consideration lies in the fact that the four rays of mind, which concern the karma of the four planetary logoi, in their totality hold in their keeping the present evolutionary process for man, viewing him as the thinker. These four, with the karmic four, work in the closest cooperation. Therefore, we have the following groups interacting. First, the four Maharajas, the lesser mythical lords, 49 who apply past karma and work it out in the present. Second, the four mythicals of the second group, referred to by H, P, N, as occupied in applying future karma and wielding the future destiny of the races. The work of the first group of four cosmic mythical lords as a cult and is only revealed somewhat at the fourth initiation, and even then but slightly, so it will not be touched upon here. Third, the fourth creative hierarchy of human monads, held by a fourfold karmic law under the guidance of the Lithicus. Fourth, the four planetary law void 50 of harmony, Knowledge, Abstract Thought and Ceremonial, who? 4 9 The four Lipical Lords stand between the first and second plane. S. D. I. 155. A. They can pass the ring pass not. S. D. I. 157. B. They are connected with Karma. S. D. I, 153, circa, they are concerned with the hereafter, S, D, I, 151, D, they are in three groups, S, D, I, 153, E, they are the spirits of the universe, S, D, I, 
153. 50 the four rays of mind are the four minor rays which form the logoic quaternary and which are synthesized eventually into a fifth ray, the third major ray of active intelligence or adaptability. The names of the rays are as follows. T-H-E-T-H-E-R-I-C-V-O-D-Y-A-N-D-P-R-A-N-A-113 For in their totality the quaternary of manas while in process of evolution, and who pass under their influence all the sons of men. Fifth. The Diva Lords of the Four Flames of Buddy, or the Flame of Spiritual Intuition, Manas, or the Mental Plane, Desire, and the Physical, who are likewise allied to the human evolution in a CIOSER sense than the higher three. A further interesting correspondence is found in the following facts that are even now in process of development. The fourth plane of Buddy is the one on which the planetary Logoi begin to make their escape from their planetary ring pass not, or from the etheric web that has its counterpart on all the planes. When man begins in a small sense to coordinate the wounded vehicle or, to express it otherwise, when he has developed the power to contact ever so slightly the Buddhic plane, then he begins simultaneously and consciously to achieve the ability to escape from the etheric web on the physical plane. Later he escapes from its correspondence on the astral plane, and finally from the correspondence on the fourth subplane of the mental plane this time via the mental unit. This leads eventually to causal functioning, or to the ability to dwell, and to be active in, the vehicle of the ego, who is the embodiment of the love and wisdom aspect of the monad. Note here the correspondence to that proof fact, that many can even now escape from the etheric body, and function in there. The three major rays. 1. The ray of the power. 2. The Ray of Love and Wisdom 3. The Ray of Active Intelligence The Four Minor Rays 4. The Ray of Beauty, Harmony, Art or Rhythm 5. The Ray of Concrete Knowledge or Science 6. The Ray of Abstract Idealism 7. The Ray of Ceremonial Order or Organization 114. A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E -E on Cosmic Fire. Astral Sheep, which is the personality reflection of that same second aspect. When a man takes the fourth initiation, he functions in the fourth plane vehicle, the Buddhic, and has escaped permanently from the personality ring past not, on the fourth subplane of the mental. There is not to hold him to the three worlds. At the first initiation he escapes from the ring pass not in a more temporary sense, but he has yet to escape from the three higher mental levels, which are the mental correspondences to the higher ethers, and to develop full consciousness on these three higher subplanes. We have here a correspondence to the work to be done by the initiate after he has achieved the fourth solar plane, the Buddhist. There yet remains the development of full consciousness on the three higher planes of spirit before he can escape from the solar ring path knot, which is achieved at the seventh initiation, taken somewhere in the system, or in its cosmic. Correspondence reached by the Cosmic Sutratma, or Cosmic Thread of Life.5 L. This fourth earth chain is in this connection one of the most important, for it is the appointed place for the domination of the etheric body by the human monad, with the aim and view of both human and planetary escape from limitations. This earth chain, though not one of the seven sacred planetary chains, is of vital. 
Importance of this time to the planetary logos, who temporarily employs it as a medium of incarnation and of expression. This fourth ground finds the solution of its strenuous and chaotic life in the very simple fact of the shattering of 51 Sutratma, the silver thread, which incarnates from the beginning of a period of manifestation until the end, stringing upon itself the pearls of human existence. It is the line of energy which connects the lower personal man with his father in heaven via the ego, the mediating middle principle. Upon it are found those focal points of energy we call the primitive atoms. T-H-E-T-H-E-R-I-C-B-O-D-Y-A-N-D-P-R-A-N-A-115 the etheric web in order to affect liberation, and permit a later and more adequate form to be employed. After the chain of ideas may be followed up in the remembrance that the fourth ether is even now being studied and developed by the average scientist, and is already somewhat harnessed to the service of man, that the the fourth subplane of the astral plane is the normal functioning ground of the average man and that in this ground escape from the etheric vehicle is being achieved, that the fourth subplane of the mental plane is the present goal of endeavor of one-fourth of the human family, that the fourth man Vantara will see the solar ring pass not. Offering avenues of escape to those who have reached the necessary point, that the four planetary logoi will perfect their escape from their planetary environment, and will function with greater ease on the cosmic astral plane, paralleling on cosmic levels the achievement of the human units who are the cells in their bodies. Our solar logos, being the logos of the fourth order, will begin to coordinate his cosmic Buddhic body. And as he develops cosmic mind he will gradually achieve, by the aid of that mind, the ability to touch the cosmic Buddhic plane. These possibilities and correspondences have been somewhat dwelt upon, as it is necessary for us to realize the work to be done in connection with the etheric web before we take up the matter of the various causes which may hinder the desired progress and prevent the appointed escape and destined liberation. Later we will take up the consideration of the etheric web and its static condition. This will entail the recollection of two things. First, that this static condition is only so when viewed from the standpoint of man at the present time. And is 116 Atreotides on Cosmosire. Only term so in order to make plainer the changes that must be effected and the dangers that must be offset. Evolution moves so slowly from man's point of view that it seems to be almost stationary, especially where etheric evolution is concerned. Second, that we are only concerning ourselves with the physical etheric body and not with its correspondences on all planes. This is because our system is on the cosmic etheric levels, and hence is of prime importance to us. 2. Cosmic and Systemic Ethers For the sake of those who read this treatise, and because the sequential repetition of fact makes for clarity, let us here briefly tabulate certain fundamental hypotheses that have a definite bearing upon the matter in hand, and which may serve to clear up the present existing confusion concerning the matter of the solar system. Some of the facts stated are already well known, others are inferential, while some are the expression of old and true correspondences captured in a more modern form. A. The lowest cosmic plane is the cosmic physical, and it is the only one which the finite mind of man can in any way comprehend. 
transition from out of a lower into a higher, and is the transferring locality into a higher.